Um, this week's problem of the week is another Pythagorean theorem question. Um, there's actually two of them you have to do, and they both relate to ladders and buildings. So now this is one of the most common kind of Pythagorean theorem question you're going to see on um, various kinds of tests, state testing. Um, you guys revisit this next year in high school briefly. You'll probably have a similar question as well. So let's cover a couple basics here of setting these problems up. So our question is a 15 foot ladder is leaning against a building. The base of the ladder, that means the bottom of the ladder, is, five, is four feet away from the building. Determine how far up the building the ladder reaches. Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a foot. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is draw a quick diagram of this. So um, we'll call this right here just the ground. Oh, select a pen of course would be helpful. All right, we'll call this right here the ground. Okay, and then I'm gonna sketch something that looks like a building here. There's my building, okay? And then we have a ladder. So I'm gonna switch colors to the ladder real quick. Let's make the ladder red. Okay, so the ladder is gonna go 15 feet up. The ladder is 15 feet long, okay? So that's that side of the triangle. Now you'll notice that the ladder is indeed the hypotenuse this time. If you think about it, ladder has to be leaning against the building. We're assuming the building was built on flat ground. So this should be a 90 degree angle right here. All right, so therefore we have made a right triangle. Okay, now another piece of information we were given is that it is four feet away from the base of the building. So at this point I have one leg, I have the hypotenuse and I have a missing leg. So let's just go ahead and call this B. So remember, from last week we went over the intro of the Pythagorean theorem and we know that the Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus b squared equals c squared. Last week's problem with the ships, you guys had both of the legs and you were trying to determine the hypotenuse. This week, you have a leg, so we have a squared, so four. We're trying to determine b squared and we have c, which is 15 this time. All right, so now, you're basically doing the same thing last week, except we're trying to solve for legs. So let's go ahead and simplify what we know. Four squared is 16. P is still unknown. And we know that um, 15 squared is 225. All right, so just like you're solving any new equation, you want to move the constant away from the variable. So they're going to subtract 16 from both sides. Okay, so if you guys need to pause for a second and catch up, go ahead and feel free. Um, b squared, so 225 minus 16 is 209. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I do not know the next step. I can't do that in my head, so I'm going to have to use a calculator. But remember, to undo a squared value, we use what's called a square root. The symbol's called a radical. We went over this already. All right, so we need to find the square root of what 209 is. So I'm going to switch to Desmos real quick, which I showed you guys last week. Um, so switching to Desmos, so just enter in radical sign, 209. Okay, so that is 14.45. So if I'm rounding it to the nearest tenth, that'd be 14.5. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that and put it back into my display. So I know that B is approximately 14.5 feet. So the ladder will go up approximately 14 and a half feet up the side of the building. Okay, now when you're done with these, you just wanna think about it from a logical standpoint. We know the hypotenuse has to be the longest side of the right triangle, right? And seeing as we're trying to find the leg, it's logical that the leg would be shorter than the hypotenuse. So 14.5 is a reasonable answer. All right, I hope this helps you guys solve your problem this week. If you have any questions, please email your math teacher. We'd love to help you. All right, have a good week. Checking with you guys next week.